There are a lot of fun math contests to keep your students busy between elementary and high school. We're going to focus on the most critical contests known as the AMCs. AMC stands for the American Mathematics Competitions, arguably the oldest and most prestigious math contests in the United States and arguably the world. The AMCs are produced by the Mathematical Association of America. The MAA also publishes journals and books. They hold conferences. They support undergraduate math majors, grad students, professors, and other researchers. So you can see that the MAA really has a full plate of activities in addition to the AMC. Let's start with the AMC 8. The AMC 8 is a middle school level contest and was developed to ease the transition for students who have had little to no experience with math contests into high school level math contest participation. Most importantly, there is no advancement from the AMC 8 to further higher levels of achievement. The AMC 10 and 12 are typically taken in high school, although increasingly middle school students are starting to take these exams as well because they lead to advancement to the next level of prestige in math contests, which is the AIME. AIME, A-I-M-E, stands for the American Invitational Mathematics Competition. This is fairly prestigious and nice to have on your college applications. In order to qualify for the AIME, you need to score in the top 2.5% of the AMC 10 or in the top 5% of the AMC 12. The AMC 10 is typically taken by students in their freshman and sophomore year, and the AMC 12 is taken by students in their junior and senior year, although younger students can still take the AMC 12. Here are recent and typical score distributions for the AMC 8 and the AMC 10. These exams both have 25 questions and are multiple choice. Notice that in order to earn a top 25% score, you need to get about half of the problems answered correctly. A top 5% score means you're getting about 76% of the problems correct. So parents and students need to adjust their expectations of what proves to be a good score. Likewise, with the AMC 10, a score that will qualify you for AMI can be earned by correctly answering 13 problems, which again is about 50% of the problems. So don't sweat a low score. The AMC 8 has a straightforward scoring system. It's just the number of correct answers. But the AMC 10 and 12 has an unusual scoring system. Your score on the AMC 10 or 12 is six times the number of problems you answer correctly, with 1.5 points added on for each blank. It's important to remember that wrong answers give you zero points. So it's fairly important to be able to write a test paper where all of your answers are either correct or blank. Try not to have any wrong answers. If we return to our histogram, we see here that these are the students who failed to understand the scoring system. My guess is these are students who ran out of time and quickly bubbled in the answers to the questions they didn't already answer and got a number of them incorrect. Instead of boosting their score, they were actually turning blank answers into wrong answers much of the time and leaving points on the table. Earning an AMI qualification is really nice to have on your college applications, but if you come close and not quite make it, that's okay too. It's still considered a respectable score and you should definitely include it. If you have any questions about math contests, please leave them in the comments and good luck on the AMC.